As promised, I did this hidden objects challenge in between videos. Solving it gives you a wind rune. So we have an enchanted wall. This is a puzzle. If you click on a space, all of the spaces adjacent to it will go in or out. What you want to do is get all of these things to go out. So you click like this. I think that's the solution to this puzzle. Yep, there we go. Okay, that's that's not the fastest solution, but it gets the job done. Are you saying you've lost everything? Everything. Sorry, I must have dropped them on the way here. Well, now we cannot perform the ritual. Ritual? What ritual? I am very sorry. I think I hear something. Oh, oh, don't mind me. I'm just here spying on you. Who is there? Who are you? Whoever you are, you should not be here. Come, Betty. We are leaving. Okay, two girls doing mysterious things in the middle of the woods. A ritual. Hmm, I hope they're not dabbling with witchcraft. So, here you use the bucket on the water. And then you use it on the altar. So the three rooms that you found in hidden objects challenges go on the altar. So these were all dropped by that young girl. So this is a puzzle. You want to drag the runes together. So there's a line connecting all of them. Let's see. I believe the blue one goes like this. How can the orange one work? Uh, I guess the orange one will go around the purple like this. That way purple can go left and then around the top. And then left like that. Uh, or right like that. Hooray, we got the key. That lets us inside Salem. Those two girls who just ran past, I think they're from Salem Village. What were they doing in the forest? Nothing good. They were up to, they were up to trouble, troublemakers. All right, well, we've got the town key. Let's open up the town gate. Oh, and we have a wolf. Okay, so I'm gonna use my family heirloom to get rid of the wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf, big bad wolf. Ha 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 defeated it. Hooray! I'm amazing. Okay, so, this is Salem Village. Salem Village. Uh, here in the village. Oh my gosh, we have another animal. Okay, well, stay still, bald eagle. I'll capture you as well. Good thing there is no one around to see me sucking up animals into my dream catcher. Otherwise, they would accuse me of being a witch. So here we go to the tavern. Welcome to Ingersoll's Tavern. My name is Nathaniel Ingersoll. I own and run this tavern. I take great pride in keeping a clean and tidy place. From the floors to the windows, this is the cleanest tavern in all the colonies. Well, good for you, sir. Good for you. Well, there are some people meeting upstairs. So all of the doors are locked. But, but, I want to go upstairs and spy on people. If you need a room, you will have to come back another time. Aww. Well, I like Nathaniel. He's got great sideburns. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to mess up his clean, clean tavern. Let's dump the uh, bucket in the mud and then throw it on the windows. That will distract him. What has happened to the windows? They have been defiled. This will not do. I must do something about this immediately. So he runs away, leaving his pub entirely unattended. In his defense, the two people in the pub look like they're asleep, so uh, they're probably not going to need anything from him. <laughs> so this is a hidden objects challenge. The item we're looking for is this one. 
Yep, right there. The, the the room key. The room key was right there. And a bomb? Why is there a bomb here? That sounds incredibly dangerous, actually. Uh, a button. Uh, I need a model of the tavern. Uh, this one. And finally, a chicken wing. Okay, so the room key lets me go upstairs. Now, unfortunately, the wardrobe is shut with some rope. I need something sharp. There's a knife here, but it's dull. We're gonna have to sharpen that knife. And that's a puzzle. So what you need to do is grab the sharp knife. I mean, grab the dull knife, grab the water pump handle, and we need to grab a sharpening stone, which is here in Village North. You go to the quarry and find it right here. It's in a hidden object shown, so let's just find all these other items. Uh, let's see. Wow, I don't see any of them. Uh, a wheelbarrow. Barrel, a wooden chair, an owl, a hammer, a crowbar, and a glove. There's the glove. I'll use a hint. There's the glass jar. And now I'm stuck. Uh, let's see. Powder horn and crowbar. Good. Got myself unstuck. Hooray! <laughs> okay, so just for reference so you know where we are, this is the Putnam house. One of those girls we saw was uh, a Miss Putnam. And this house belongs to a witch. Uh, we can't get inside right now. The other girl is uh, a Paris, so she's here. She lives here in the Paris house, but I can't sneak in, obviously, while people are hanging around outside. So we're gonna go back several screens to over here. We use, uh, let's see, we're gonna use the water pump handle first, then the sharpening stone, and then the knife. Now we have a sharp knife. That's good, that's good, that's good. And this is also a puzzle with the, the dog. Let me let me solve the dog puzzle real quick. Go back to the prison. Use the hand bore over here on this barrel. That should give you a bone. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Give it to the dog, and then you can suck up the dog with your family heirloom. And there we go. I think we've gotten most of the animals in this game. How many other animals? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Okay, we've got seven more animals, actually. <laughs> we have quite a few animals to find. Okay, well, let, let's let's take care of the one animal uh, before ending this video. Milk! We need milk for the cat. So let's find all the other items that are here on the screen. Uh, donkey, Sith. We're finding the fire room. The fire room is here again, somehow. So you take the fresh milk. Let's see, you put it over here to the left of the cat, and then capture the cat with your family heirloom. Both the cat. Oh no! I clicked too early. Ah. Both the cat and the dog look really mean. They looked nice. Like, the cat looked nice when it was just jumping around the screen and calmly drinking milk, but now that I'm trying to capture it, it looks really nasty. Poor kitty. Poor kitty. I've really disturbed it. Aww. 